So anong pakiramdam? If you can provide jobs and opportunities to other people. Sabi ni Israel, fulfill. Yeah, fulfilling din, sabi ni AJ. Diba? As mentioned, the first part of this training, I already highlighted the number three bullet point of entrepreneurship is also providing jobs and opportunities to other people. It's beyond selling. Right? It's now part of a bigger mission. Doon na nagiging emotional ang pagiging negosyante, hindi na lang siya nagbebenta ka. Right? Fulfilled. Fulfilling. How about others? Anong pakiramdam? How would you feel if you can provide opportunities to other people? Right? So, that should be your mentality. That I will be a big business owner and blessings. God will bless me more because I'll be able to bless other people. Sabi nga ni Tani, blessed. Happy and fulfilled, sabi ni Mel. Diba? When you're able to help other people and give jobs, imagine again, jobs. Company ka na pag nakapag-provide ka ng jobs sa ibang tao. Eh. Yun yun eh. It ba, that, why? Because you're earning beyond what you need. Yun yung maganda. You're able to give opportunity to make the, the economy move faster. You're helping the unemployment, diba? to, to ease unemployment rate. Because you're able to get, provide jobs and opportunities to other people. Kumikita yung tao, may makakain sila. Pag kumikita sila, may ma-spend sila. Pag nag-spend sila, other business will grow. Iikot ang economy. So, that's how fulfilling this business is. When you take a look at it, that this is part of our job. So, let me share with you first the four types of income. Mind-blowing achievement as a leader, sabi ni Zaster. Yun, that's great. This training... I intend to create this topic during the WPC or the Whole Person Club. Again, if you don't know WPC yet, I'm inviting you. The launching will be this Monday, 5:30 p.m. It's a two-hour session that we're discussing. We're having at least once a week, pero three times in a month. Iba ibang schedule. There's a Monday night session, Wednesday morning session, and then a Saturday afternoon session. Ganon yung mga yare. And one of the topics on a Saturday afternoon will be money and finances. Diba? Wherein we will talk, uh, we will this we will open this to your friends and clients and family members, kahit hindi pa sila member ng Starbright, hoping that when they learn from us, they will also be part of our team, if not maging client. Kasi marami rin akong potential recruits before na hindi natuloy, naging kliyente ko na lang. Diba? So this can really be, can generate clients and recruits at the same time. So one of the topics will be to talk about the four types of income. Right? The first type of income is active income, wherein you trade time for money. So, di ba, kikita ka lang pag nagtatrabaho ka. Ano yan? Pagiging employee, pero hindi lang yan pagiging employee. Selling is one example. When you sell, you have income. When you don't sell, you don't have income. That's active income. Let's say you're in the service industry, di ba? Let's say, uh, you're a therapist. So, pag nag-therapy ka, may income ka. Pag wala kang kliyente, walang income. Di ba? Doctors. If wala kang pasyente, walang income. So, these are active income. The professionals, lawyers, etc. So, ang key dito, it's okay. It's not bad. Maganda yan na meron kang active income. The key is to earn bigger by the hour. What do I mean? If you're earning 100 pesos per hour, let's say so 8 hours of work, that's 800 pesos in a day, so 25 days of trabaho, let's say 20,000 a month. If this is your income, then compute mo, kung kumikita ka na 20,000 a month, most likely about 100 pesos per hour ka. If you want to double your income or have more time for yourself, the question is how can I earn bigger than 100 pesos per hour? Ang tanong ko sa inyo, alam nyo ba kung magkano kinikita nyo per hour? Example, in AIA. Kung per sale, kumikita ka ng 5,000, maliit ito ha. Ibig sabihin, nakabenta ka lang ng 20,000 na ACP. 25% is 5,000 pesos per sale. Kung sabihin na natin, 5 hours ka na nagtrabaho kasi nagtawag ka, sinet mo yung appointment, nagpresent ka, pinalo up mo, etc. Nag-client servicing ka. Sabihin na natin, in total, 5 hours mong tinrabaho yung kliyente na yun. 
Alam mo ba na ang kinita mo doon is 1,000 per hour? Di ba? So, the, the reason why I love business is because I can earn, definitely, I can definitely earn bigger by the hour if I do active income. Ibig sabihin, kahit 20,000 a month lang din ang kitain ko, I'm sure mas konting time ang in-spend ko to make that 20,000. Can you type in agree or aha if you have learnings or you agree with me if you get what I'm saying? That's the key. You got to earn bigger per hour. When you got that, lalaki yung kita mo. Maniwala ka. Pag nag-get mo to, nag-gets mo to, lalaki talaga yung kita mo. Kasi hindi ka na basta-basta papatos, papatos sa maliit yung kita. Eh. You would know how much you are rate, your rate is per hour. Example, two weeks ago, I had a talk. Three-hour talk. I was paid 15,000. So that's 5,000 per hour. Right? That's my minimum rate when I when I give talks to, let's say, to companies. Right? So I know that I can earn 5,000 per hour. Why would I work sa below that rate? Diba? So, meaning, that's the value that I create. Pinag-usap natin yung value kanina. And then you should know how to monetize it. And one of the ways to monetize your value, you got to know how much ka per hour. Magkana minimum mo. Imagine. Imagine for AIA. No? So four hours of work, kung kumikita ka ng 1,000 per hour, nagtrabaho ka lang ng four hours a day. Matad ka ng training, nag-client servicing ka, nag-set ka ng appointment, nag-present ka to clients. You don't work eight hours, nine hours a day with AIA. Di ba? Wait lang ha. I-mute ko lang si Eric para na-open niya. Ayan yan. Yeah. Diba, you don't work 8 hours, 9 hours a day dito. Kaya nga nung kausap ko si AJ, okay, may freelancing ka, that's fine. As long as you're not employed, mas madali. Why? You just need to be consistent here on a regular basis and do what you're supposed to do. Imagine if you're working 4 hours a day for 20 days, that's 80,000 a month. Less time, less days, Bigger income. How does it happen? People who earn bigger than you understand. And so, understand this concept. So, go, Jessica. So, let's talk about the next type of income. Right? Own, portfolio income is also important. It's owning an asset that appreciates in value. Right? So, Portfolio, by the name itself, sa papel siya, mga papel lang siya, proofs of ownership, ganon. And then, um, yun, nag, pwede siyang mag-appreciate yung value niya. Ang maganda rito sa portfolio income, you can start small. No? But the goal is to really accumulate big kasi it won't really matter kung maliit lang. Imagine, nag-invest ka sa stock market, nag-kasok ka ng 5,000. Tapos never mo nang ginalaw for 10 years. Okay naman. Sabihin na kahit nag times 3 siya, naging 15,000 na siya, it doesn't really matter much. Kumita ka ng 10,000, pero hindi siya, hindi ka naging financially free. Right? So, you can start small, so start small, but you got to accumulate big. That's part of the goal. Right? So, real estate is also one. Diba? May title ka, so it's paper asset as well, part of that. And then, you can make money through capital gains. Pag nag-increase, and then binenta mo, pwede kang kumita from that. That's portfolio income. Nag-double nag, nag yung uh, shares of stock, even crypto. No? If, you, if you don't really actively trade crypto, bumili ka ng Bitcoin, let's say uh, 40,000, no? tapos nag-60,000, di ba paper gain lang yun pag hindi mo siya binenta eh. Di ba? So that's, eh, gusto mo long term, okay lang. So that's portfolio lang sa'yo. That's part of your portfolio. So anything you earn that appreciates in value, as hindi mo naman actively trading like real estate, you, can always, you cannot always do that. That's part of your portfolio. Okay yon. But again, if you can see, portfolio income is not enough. The third income is passive income. Right? We're in cash flows in even when you're doing something else, even when you're sleeping. One of the, of course, the 
one of the most popular and basic passive income is house for rent. Diba? It's the ultimate goal. Kaya lang, diba, you realize that you would need big capital investment to be financially free. Kaya mo gusto magnegosyo, hopefully, the goal is to be financially free. Hindi basta magkapalit lang ng income. Pwede naman, pero hindi lang siya basta lumaki yung income. Kasi hindi yung sustainable. So imagine, para magkaroon ka ng ramdam talaga na passive income, no? let's put in about 10 million investments. Kung if you own different assets worth 10 million at least, 6% return. Bakit 6%? I've talked to millionaires and even billionaires. They said that about a 6% return from your asset net would be already acceptable. Ito yung something na alam mong hindi siya basta malulugi. Diba? Hindi ganun ka risky. And then, nag accumulate siya. And that, those are properties. Those are their different businesses, etc. Uh, probably the money in their bank. Uh, mutual funds, etc. So the goal is just to accumulate. Ang goal mo talaga, if you want passive income, hindi lang basta maliit. Kumikita ka nga ng 20% a, a, a year, pero ang investment mo, 10,000 pesos. Diba? So 2,000 a year, hindi pa rin ramdam. So it's not about the percentage. It's about the capital investment. So the initial goal is the 10 million investment a month. Please type in 10M if you want to have at least 10 million invested. Hindi mo gagalawin for passive income. Sige nga. Okay, thank you. And again, I'm telling you that's a minimal minimal goal. Imagine 6% of that, that's 600,000 a year. That's 50,000 a month. Modest. If you're living under 50,000 a month, let's say yung rent mo sa bahay or bahay, bayad mo sa amortization ng bahay mo, kung bumuli ka, expenses mo, nyo sa family, below 50,000 a month, then you're financially free. Diba? Pero ang kailangan mo muna, magtrabaho, you work hard and smart to make 10 million. Maipon mo yun, ma-invest mo siya, kumita yun for you. Diba? It takes time. But that's the ultimate goal. So pinapakita ko lang sa inyo, Passive, in, passive income is good, but it will take time. That's why you also need the four type of income. It's called residual income. So residual income is an income derived as a result of the active efforts you did in the past. So this is one income na hindi lahat meron. So may active effort ka, pero ang, ang difference sa active income is sa active income, pag pumasok ako ngayon, employment, may bayad ako sa 30 years. Pero pag hindi ako pumasok next month, wala na akong income. Sa residual income, iba. You get to earn over and over again after your initial efforts. Nagtrabaho ka ngayon, binuhos mo. In the future, meron niyang residual impact. May kita ka ngayon, may kita ka in the future. And it's a great way to add to your active income. Habang bata ka, pagawin mo na to, galingan mo. So that it will help you grow your portfolio and passive income. Kasi alam mo yung portfolio and passive, pinapa, that's money working for you. Eh. Diba? Portfolio income and passive income, it's money working for you. That's the ultimate goal. But it will take time. Sabi nga may three phases. Man at work, phase one. Phase two, man and money at work. Then phase three, money at work na lang. Yung kakapag-rest ka na. Diba? Uh, dapat ilagay ko sa slide in the future. Update ko yan. Diba? Man at work, phase 2, money and man at work, phase 3, money at work na lang. Bago mangyari yun, dapat during the time na man at work ka or man at money at work, maybe karamihan sa atin, if not all, nasa phase 2 ngayon. Diba? We're actively working, may konting naka-invest. Ang goal mo, mapalaki mo yun. Mapalaki mo yung portfolio mo tsaka yung residual, eh, yung passive income mo. To do that, you got to earn fast. You got to ride the sports car. Huwag mo solohin lahat. Diba? Or magpa-drive ka sa victory liner para ma-invest mo yung iba. Your extra energy, you can invest in others. Right? That's residual income. And that's what the life insurance business gives you. Imagine you can start as an advisor. However, pag wala kang benta, wala kang kita. And that's why a lot of advisors leave this business. But if you have a big vision, 
na hindi mo to gagawin mag-isa. Uulitin ko ulit ito sa mga wala last Saturday kasi bagong slide to. You can start inviting your friends so that you can earn 7.5 to 15% ARP or the Agent Recruitment Program. Then you can be promoted as an AUM. Pag may dalawang advisor and a certain target na meet mo, you can earn 15% BPI from your team, direct production incentive. Then eventually, you can be promoted as a unit manager. Sa UM pa lang, may 30% income ka na. Now, you need at least four advisors, kahit walang AUM, kahit direct mo yung mga yan. And then you can have 30% income from their sales. Diba? So meron kang personal sale, meron kang residual income from their sales. Bakit residual income? Katulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon, I'm training you guys. After a few days, pag ganado ka, magbebenta ka. Pag nagbenta ka, kahit wala akong ginawa, may kita ako. Diba? So that's residual income. I also sell on my own. Right? So tignan nyo yung growth of the income for that. Pwede ka maging senior unit manager when you train your people to be unit managers as well. Diba? So meron kang indirect income, 15%. May direct income ka sa lahat ng direct mo na hindi unit manager. Meron kang 30%. Doon sa grupo ng unit manager mo, may 15% ka. Tapos pwede ka maging executive unit manager pag may na-promote ka na SUM or at least tatlong UM with a certain target. Again, lahat ng direct mo, may 30% ka. Lahat ng second level ng SUM mo, 15% ka. No, kasi may UM siya dun sa baba. And then eventually you can be an agency manager. Right? Your management override incentive, managing the whole business, is 30% of the whole business. Right? No worries, Christian. Diba? So you're here. You can build your own your own company within a company. Kaya yun yung vision ko. Nakita ko kagad, okay, I can create another driven, hindi ako lahat ng gagastos, pero same yung income dito sa film life. True enough, mas malaki pa nga yung kita. Diba? Bakit? I don't pay for rent. I only have a few staff. I don't pay for utilities. I don't have collector and driver. Diba? So, ang baba ng expense may ka-share ako sa incentive programs, di ba? Sa so, mababa yung expense, the same yung kita. Minsan mas malaki pa. Bukod na to mention, mas malaki yung market. Kasi real estate, when you buy real estate, you don't buy again. Not all will buy a second home. Di ba? Tapos not everyone can afford. Dito, everyone can afford life insurance. So ang laki ng market ko, hindi ako maubusan, I'm sure. Right? So not all businesses are created equal. So that's residual income for you. So if you if you are to choose which income do you would you want to have? Or what is your favorite income? Mo? Active income? Portfolio income? Passive income? Or residual income? Yeah, siempre passive yung gusto ni Erica. Yan, residual going to passive. I think Ivan got it, di ba? So simula mo sa residual, tapos magiging passive. Uh, Mag-invest ka for passive income. That's really the game plan. Right? How about others? All four. Yan, sabi ni Red. The goal is all to have all four types. Do you like these four types of income? This is one of the training that we will put in outside. We will invite our clients, we will invite our friends to teach them this. This is a basic presentation. One of the Saturdays in, in, uh, in the whole person club, we will have this topic. Um, it's a basic topic so that they will see na, oi, ganun pala yung film life business or yung AIE business. No? Uh, it provides, we, we teach you this and then it can provide you active and then residual income. Tapos matututo ako how to invest portfolio and passive income because that's what we will teach you moving forward not just how to sell life insurance again the game has changed we will not just teach you how to sell life insurance it's easy there's so many training about it what will make Starbright different is that we will grow you as a financially free individual not just financial advisors right so let's talk about the great equalizer 
what do you think is the great equalizer in this life? Hard work, education. This gives everyone, rich or poor, equal opportunities. Time. Ayan. We all have 24 hours in a day. Successful entrepreneurs understand this. Kasi marami naman negosyata nag no? So, alis ako sa employment, start ako sa sariling business. But they don't understand this concept. And that's why they fail. Right? For you to not to fail, you got to understand this concept. That we only have 24 hours in a day. You and me. Pareho tayo. So, it's all fair. It's all fair. God is fair. Let's give it all of us 24 hours in a day. It's up to you how you utilize it. How you handle your time will dictate your result as an entrepreneur. That's the reality. And how will you treat time? How will you view time? Not just handle your time. It will really dictate your result as an entrepreneur. You know, time freedom in entrepreneurship is a double-edged sword. Pag full-time ka lalo na, hindi ka na-employed, it's double-edged. Yes, you can, you can choose when to work and when not to work. But when you procrastinate and do not work because nobody is checking on you, then it hurts you. Right? It hurts you. So you got to understand how you will use your time wisely. Very important that you have the entrepreneur work week. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to I want you to have this activity. So, sana meron kayong pen and paper. Kung wala in your notes, pero medyo mas mahirap. I want you to plot. Alam nyo na, dapat everyday may ginagawa sa AIA. Kung full-time ka dito, syempre. Kung part-time ka dito, kung employed ka pa, dapat everyday meron kang ginagawa for your life insurance business. That's the rule. Now, to be a successful financial advisor, you should have plotted your work week kung paano mo siya gagawin. Which time is for which? Right? So, medyo malabo, but sige, this one. This is one example how I plot my calendar. So, Monday to Saturday, I work so hard. On Sunday, I don't work. I mean, I, I chat. Sometimes. Pero late na late ako magbasa ng mga messages, etc. Right? So it's family time. I don't set one-on-ones. I don't set interviews as much as I can. Even clients. Right? So, pero buhos ako Monday to Saturday. So Monday morning, we have ease and then one probably or some of my meetings come in on, on 10.30. And then I have a meeting with Driven, 2 o'clock yan. So I would know. Basta naka-block siya. So ano y- yung mga black, color black, yan yung kanyari, hindi pwedeng lagyan ng film light activity. For example, the rest, I have film life activities. I can, I can, I put there kung kailan ko siya tatrabawin. So, I know when to set appointments. I know when to set meetings. I know when to do, when to do things I want to do. Okay, pag 5.30 p.m., my night is. Or meron tayong whole person club. Ganon. Pag Tuesday, I block my Tuesday morning for my CEO time. I'll talk about it later. 2 p.m., meron akong meeting sa isang co-op, yung filo. And then, after that, I can set meetings after. 3 p.m., 4 p.m., I can. So, unahan na lang kung sino. Um, 9 a.m., I have next-gen meeting. Nakablock na yan dyan. We finish at 11. Sometimes, if I want, I can set a meeting at 11. 2 p.m., I, I'm so free. If you would notice, hindi siya specific. Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, even actually um, Friday afternoon. Even Saturdays, I can choose what to do. Yung Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. So it's so free, pero alam ko na pwede ko maglagay dyan ng trabaho. I want you to put in, no, let's spend a few minutes of our time today. This is part of the activity. If you can screenshot this or magawa tayo ng blank nyan, mas maganda. Right? Let me 
copy this. Ayan. Burahin natin yung mga, para pwede kayo mag-screenshot. Yung nakalagay, no? Kung gusto nyong naka-PDF. Ayan. So you can screenshot this. And you can just plot in. No? Ilagay nyo in black yung job nyo. If you if you're have full-time job. If you're a freelancer, anong oras siya? Lagay nyo doon. And then you will notice there will always be vacant time. There will be a vacant time, definitely. There you put, anong gagawin mo with AIA? You're attending a meeting. Kung hindi ka pa naman manager katulad namin, wala ka masyadong meetings. What do you need to do? Ace. Kailang training. Prospecting. Set appointments. Doon ka magsiset ng meeting with a client. Diba? So plot it. What time? No, you can copy this. Hindi ko pa lang yan, hindi ko yan masyadong pinopulate para hindi kayo ma-overwhelm. Pero indefinite, definitely, kung, kung titignan natin yan, itong 9, kunyari kung kung kakapi ko to, itong 11 a.m., I can still set meetings. Ganto talaga ako magtrabaho. Yun yung reality ko. Ayan. Alam kong 9 to 11 lang yan. So if I have, if I need to, I will set meetings 9 to 11. Itong 10.31, Saglit lang yan. I can set meetings 11 o'clock. Nang Monday. Right? So, pinipili ko yung mga yung schedule ko. Yung personal work na 9 a.m. Kunyari, napapabayaan ko yung other personal stuff ko na kailangan gawin. Okay, hindi ako magtatrabaho ng film life, for example. Ng AIA. Sa hapon, kaya kung naalala nyo yung presentation bootcamp, naging Friday afternoon siya, it follows my schedule. In reality, I control people based on time. Yun yung secret. Huwag na lang sabihin. I, I make pa, people follow my schedule because I so know my schedule. Wala kayong choice. Parang ganun. May schedule yung training kung kailan ako pwede. Ganun, ganun talaga ako. Mas schedule yung meeting kung kailan ako pwede. I will force things. Yun yung reality ko. Medyo bad side. Pero it works for me. Hindi naman alam. It won't hurt other people naman. But that's, what, that's what's working. Uh, Sunday ka, hindi ako pwede ng Sunday as much as I can. Hanggat pa pwede, hindi ako makipag-meet ng Sunday para may have time for my family. Ganun. So pipilitin kong mag-schedule tayo ng ibang araw. And that keeps me my sanity. So go ahead, do, do your own schedule. I'll give you five minutes. I'll give you five minutes. Plot nyo lang. Sulat nyo dyan. Yung mga non-negotiables kasi hindi talaga pwede. That can be your full-time job. That can be your other business. That can be, kung sa mga full-timers dito, like sila Red, sila Diane, that can be your me time. Diba kunyari si Zach, no? nakikita nyo ngayon, 5 a.m., gigising, magtatakbo, hanggang 8 o'clock probably. So ang his days, let's say his work starts 8 a.m. Parang ganun. Your calendar is really your boss. As an entrepreneur, as an insurance entrepreneur, as a Starbright financial advisor, your calendar must be your boss. It, it's not me who is your boss. I'm not your boss. Your calendar must be your boss. Iplot nyo na how your life will look like. Of course, sometimes, di ba, you, you compromise ng konti. Sometimes talaga, kunyara sila Miss Del, no? talagang Sunday yung, yung unit meeting. Pinagbigyan ko ng one hour. Na ganun lang. So, okay lang naman. But as much as I can, hindi ako mag-work ng Sunday. Parang ganun. Because that's my time for my family. So that I don't feel guilty when I work so hard Monday to Saturday. Sometimes even at night. No, kunyari, wala na talaga ibang schedule. Kailangan-kailangan. I work 9 o'clock pag nakatulog na yung mga bata. Ano? So minsan lang naman yun. Hindi naman yun everyday. So I don't really mind. So I, pero alam ko, even the 7 to 9, ito pa yung kwento dyan. Yung 7 to 9 p.m. example dito, Yung 7 p.m. talaga, this is our dinner and family time. Para ma-appreciate nyo lang, no? na pwede nyo rin ma-apply sa sarili nyo. So if talagang meron akong urgent meeting, okay, 9 p.m. Sometimes I set clients ng 9 p.m. Pagyari, meeting. Ayan. 9 o'clock. Kung hindi ka pwede nang sa time ko hanggang 7, hanggang 6, hindi ka pwede, basta hindi ako pwede ng 7 to 8. 
7 to 9. 9 o'clock, pwede ako mapag-meeting sa'yo. Pag hindi ka pwede, ibang araw na lang. That's how I do it. Yeah, that's one of the samples. So, go ahead. Two more minutes. I want you to plot your schedule. Kasi, guys, ganito. Kailangan si AIA, especially those who are part-timers, may ibang ginagawa. Si AIA, maging part siya ng system mo. Maging part siya ng system mo. Hindi pwedeng hindi siya maging part ng schedule mo. Kung hindi, darating ang buwan, one month, two month, three month, three months, three months, one month, two months, three months, wala kang benta. Bakit? Kakainin ka ng whirlwind. We call that whirlwind in the four disciplines of execution. Kakainin ka ng whirlwind. Yung mga urgent at important na kailangan gawin, di ba? Hindi mo ngayon magagawa yung pinaka-important things na dapat mong gawin kasi nga na whirlwind ka na. Ayun. So, you should not allow that to happen. You got to schedule your life. I have a I have a topic and this is a paid training. Uh, my partner na company who's selling my programs, uh, I'm offering it at 16,000 for three hours, two to three hours lang. It's called Time and Life Management uh, Secrets. Time and Life Management Secrets. I created a new program. It's two to three hours. Yan, I, I'm offering it at 16,000. Yun yung rate to. So bahala kayo paano nyo ibibenta. Yan. And this is it. Ito yung main topic doon. So you're getting it for free. And ito yung main topic doon. You got to really schedule your life. If you want it to make if you want to make it work, you got to schedule your life. Kasi alam mo kung ba, pag hindi mo ginawa yan, you will have a lot of excuses. Ang dami ko kasi ginagawa sa work. Eh. Sa family ko kasi ganyan eh. Guys, ako rin I have a lot of excuses. So you can just choose whether you want reasons or results. No, I can always make my family as an excuse. Guys, yung lunch namin 12 to 2. Kaya 2 p.m. lagi yung mga meeting na yan. Hindi nyo nakikita dyan. Eh. Ito yung secret. <laughs> so mamaya 2.30 yung start ng meeting na, namin sa team namin. Di ba? Ang reason doon, doon yung time na gusto ko. Bakit? We eat we eat lunch 12 to 1. 1 o'clock papaligo ng mga bata. After magpaligo ng bata, mag-refresh up, maliligo, etc. 2 o'clock yung pinakamabilis kong pwede. Ganon. I rarely say yes to 1 or 1.30. Ganon. So, or I cannot be 100% in your reality. So, 2 o'clock. Kung napansin nyo lahat siyang 2 o'clock. So, 2 hours yung lunch ko. I, I plan my life. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, your life must be planned. You cannot use that as, a, that as an excuse. Because that's my excuse. I have a family. I have a 3-year-old and a 1-year-old. Right? My wife always reminds me to give time to my family, to them. And true enough, dapat naman talaga. Diba? So, and I had a lot of challenges adjusting because I worked a lot when I was single, diba? Hanggang gabi yan. Ngayon, ngayon, I have to really fix it na may family time na, etc. So, yun. And, and this has been working for me. Uh, when I joined Starbright, we have a we have a Monday meeting. Ito yung another story. No, as you're doing your own. Sino dito tapos na pala? Please type in calendar if tapos mo na yung calendar mo. Yan. No, kukuwento lang ako ng story para maka mas maka-relate kayo. So para makita niyo na possible siya. So as you remember, I have a company driven. In fact, I'm the president of Driven Marketing Group right now. So I run meetings there. Right? So during the pre-pandemic session or times Siyempre, company yan, board meeting, team meeting, lunes talaga, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. po talaga yung meeting namin doon. So, whole day yan, 9 to 12, sa after that, if may, may board meeting ako sa hapon. So, the, my whole Mondays, I cannot really do life insurance. So, when I joined Starbright, I already talked to Miss A, our agency manager, our founder. Miss A, I cannot really do Monday. Here's what I can do. Mag-i-ace ako. Gawa tayo ng ibang ace. Tuesday night ace. Ako nagpauso ng night ace sa, ano, sa Starbright. Bawi ako pero Tuesday I can be here whole day. Sabi kong ganun. Tuesday night ako bahala mag-handle. So it was what time it is? 6.30 to 9. 6.30 to 9 p.m. Kasi we need time na bumiyahe, di ba? So it's 6.30 to 9 p.m. Night ace. Right? So I'm so committed 
Pero I have to compromise. Hindi talaga ako pa din ng Monday. I have this schedule. Klaro siya sa akin. No, if I can serve Starbright as a, as a unit manager, this is what I can offer. So, pumayag naman. Diba? So, sabi ko nga, I allow people or I make people say yes to my schedule, <laughs> to my calendar. That's my habit. Kasi that's my need. Ayun. So, si Red pa lang yung tapos. Grabe, wala pa yung iba. Ayun. So, I hope no, you can also do this for yourself. This is one of the most important activities that we will do as a rookie, especially sa mga rookies and incoming. Kailangan mo nang diktahan kailan mo gagawin yung AIA mo. Kahit, eh, kahit hindi mo pa alam kung anong gagawin mo doon, lagyan mo ng AIA time. Dapat everyday meron. Bakit? Pag hindi siya everyday, mawawala siya sa habit mo. Kahit one hour lang yung isang araw, and then there are other days, meron mahabang time. But you got to think about AIA. Kahit pa yung gagawin mo lang, manunood ka lang ng videos natin sa YouTube. Basta you got to think about our business. Right? So I hope you're doing your calendar. That's very, very important. Okay, so si Zaster, meron na. Si Red pa lang, tsaka si Zaster. Basta think of this. Right? You got to run your life with a calendar. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you need this. If you will be a slashy, meron kang, kanyari nga, si, si AJ, freelancer siya sa gabi, tapos financial advisor sa umaga, you got, you got to schedule this. Kailan mo gagawin yung isang job mo? Kailan mo gagawin to? So, sabi ko nga, sinasabi ko nga sa mga in-interview ko, hindi ako hindi ako matampuhin because I believe in productivity. Ibig sabihin, okay lang may ginagawa kang iba, basta what you need to deliver for our team, you deliver. For your business, you deliver. Right? Because millennials cannot just do one thing. Do you, do you agree? Please type in agree if you agree with me na <laughs> millennials cannot just do one thing. Di ba? Like, kung hindi kung mayro ka ba kung hindi man ibang business like si Red serving the church sobrang passionate siya doon. Hindi bro, di ba you're serving the church, eh? you're so passionate with that. So that's part of your technical job. Di ba? So you're leading there. Eh. So technically parang millennial ka pa rin, di ba? Tayo mga tao na yun, hindi pwedeng ano lang, hindi pwedeng isa lang. Now, we don't just want to rest and be a couch potato. We want to make a difference eh, to add, to other people's lives. So We want to matter. Yan. So it's not about age, you know, but that's the new way of thinking. We're slashies talaga. We're doing other things and that's okay. But for that to work, you've got to really fix your calendar. So just a few more slides. No? Um, ito, yung sinab- ito yung binabanggit ko na CEO time and ito yung tinutulong ko sa mga leaders natin. I-share ko na rin sa inyo. Three hours a week. I block it off. For me, that's ma- Tuesday 9 to 12. I don't open social media. In fact, hindi ako gumagamit ng phone, so I just write in my notebook all the things that I have in mind. Lahat ng plano, tinulista ko dun. Kapag may nailista na ako the last week, I review kung ano yung mga nagawa at hindi pa. And then, After checking kung yung mga natapos, I review again. Okay, this week, what are my priorities? What are the big rocks? Sulat ko yan. So last Tuesday, nagsulat ako. That's why I know I can deliver sa deadline. Diba? So that's why I can prepare this new slide. Because this is a new training that we created for Starbright. So yun, kailangan gawin to. Kailangan makausap ko siya. To, ko siya kailangan matapos tong poster na to, etc. Ito yung date. O, Tuesday, ito yung mga dapat gawin. Wednesday, ito. Thursday, ito. Friday, ito. Yun. So that, those are the big rocks among all the things that I have in mind. And then your calendar. Yun. Yun. When do you commit to do these big rocks? And then just follow that calendar. So last Tuesday, meron akong tatlo. Nung natapos ko yun, maaga, pahinga ako. Wednesday, ito. Kaha, anong Thursday, we're outside. So halos wala akong ginawa. So wala akong nakalagay sa calendar. Noong Thursday, pahinga yun, technically. We went to Miss A, we, nagpa-check up yung mga bata, etc. Then kahapon, Friday, halos wala din. 
no ang nasa nasa bucket list ko lang kahapon will be just to finish this slides no which is tinapos ko siya ayon um so i have a very productive week because of the ceo time i always run my business as a ceo not not just as the doer one of the biggest quotations that i learned in terms of entrepreneurship is that you got to learn how to run your business how to be how to be on your business not in your business if you can imagine that you're on top running the company not inside doing what's supposed to be done diba so meaning kailangan may planning kailangan lagi may planning and then may review ano yung sinabi mong gagawin mo so apply this in your life Please type in CEO if you will do this for yourself and be the CEO of your own business. Kasi wala nang ibang pwedeng maging CEO ng Ivan Velas group of companies, 'di ba? Ganoon eh, ikaw lang talaga, Red Pacetes group of companies. Wala eh, ikaw lang. So, ngayon pa lang gawin mo na siya. If you ever dreamed of having your own business, You got to run your life insurance business as if it's a big business because it is. One million a month it can be done here, right? Lastly, again we mentioned that the great equalizer is time. We only have twenty four hours in a day. So when you only have twenty four hours in a day, and you're just making one thousand pesos. A month, hanggang tw- sorry, a day, an hour pala, 1,000 pesos an hour, kanina sa computation natin, you can only earn a maximum of 24,000 an hour. Walang tulogan. Walang kainan. A, a day, 24,000 a day, sorry. In 30 days, that's 720,000 pesos in a month. Hindi pa rin namabot ng 1 million. Zombie ka na nun. Walang kainan, walang tulogan. So it's impossible. What you need to do, You gotta grow your team. You got to multiply your time. Imagine, you have 100 people working with you and for you. Four hours lang in a day. Four hours in a day. So you have 400 hours. 100 people times four, ta- four hours. Simula ka sa 10. 10 people working with you four hours in a day. That's 40 hours in a day. Pwede hindi ka lang mag-work. Di ba? Kung totoo sin. You have 40 hours, 40 hours in a day. If kumita ka lang ng, sabi na lang natin, a modest 100 pesos per hour nila. 40 times 100, wala akong computation. Hindi ko pa nagawa yung slide na yun. Next time, gagawin ko yung slide na yun. Or maybe let me just, you know, show it to you. Now, if you have 4 hours in a day, 40 hours in a day, Times 100 pesos an hour. By the way, you can make this type of presentation pag may kliyente kayo. No? Tinatype nyo lang habang nakikinig sila. That's 4,000 pesos per day. Tama ba yung computation mo, di ba? Per day. Times mo na lang na 20 days sila nag-work. At yung 80,000 naman. Bumalik tayo sa 80,000 naman na pinag-uusapan natin kanina. You don't even need to earn 1,000 per hour. Right? Imagine this. If you have 40 hours in a day because balik tayo, you have 10 people yun yun, no? You have 10 people giving you 4 hours per day. You get 40 hours in a day. Kung 100 per hour lang kinikita mo sa per hour nila sa'yo, that's 4,000 pesos in a day. Sa 20 days of work, mayroon ka pang 10 extra days per fund 
that's 80,000 a month. Please type in AHA if AHA moment to sa inyo. This is what I realized early on in my career. Sabi ko, this is how it's supposed to be. Diba? Dapat lahat ng negosyo ko ganito. Hindi pwedeng ako lahat nagtatrabaho. You cannot do this if you're doing it alone. So, my friends in Starbright, as your agency manager, my voice as a trainer, as a business owner, this is what you will always hear from me. Grow your team. Bring people with you. Help them make money. This is fun because hindi mo sila pagkakakitaan. Eh. Tutulungan mo sila. 100 pesos per hour ka lang, sila kikita 1,000 pesos per hour. Di ba yung, yung explanation kanina? Pag nagbenta sila, 1,000 pesos per hour. So mas malaki kita nila eh. Pero mas marami lang yung tao mo. You've grown yourself enough so that you can handle this team. 10 people lang. Ayaw ba ng 10 people? Basta kung may kita sila, syempre, kailangan kumita sila. Yun nga yung maganda sa insurance industry. Hindi ka kikita pag hindi sila kumita. That's how insurance entrepreneurship is all about. Right? So how many people do you want to be part of your team? Please type in the chat box. How many people do you want to be part of your team? Ito ako nagsimula nung nung naintindihan ko to hindi ako makatulog. Alam niyo yun? Dun, dun ko siya nakita na grabe pala to. It's math eh. It's, it's, it's exact math. Ang magbabago lang dyan, yung 100 pesos per hour. Pwede mas malaki, pwede mas maliit. Halos yun lang. ba? So pag pinalaki ko yung base ko, lalaki kita ko. I'll just enjoy the process. Right? So, yun guys, yung that's what I want to, sh to share with you dito sa entrepreneurship class natin. This is a crash course. Now, in the past three hours, I've shown you the different aspects of being an entrepreneur. Ano yung favorite mo? Sige nga. So, number one, please type in how much, how many people do you want to be part of your team if you see yourself being an, a unit manager at the very least. And number two, what's your favorite learning from today. I also want to see it in the chat box. Sige. So I hope you're typing. Thirty as a start, sabi ni Red. That's fine, di ba? So, 30 people na kasama mo, tinutulungan mo, part of your culture, growing with you. That's fine. Take your red. How about others? Ten people, four styles. Ayan. Sampu kay Israel. Yan, sampu kay AJ. Diba? So, guys, yan, 20 kay Nika, gan, ganto nyo siya, gust, ganto ko, gusto nyo makita yung vision sa business na to. 50 kay Dennis, 20 kay Mia. Kapag hindi ka nakatingin sa 10, sa 15, sa 50, sa 20, at hindi ka makabenta rin, titigil ka. Uh, 10 people as I begin, sabi ni Christian. Yeah. Pero kung nakatingin ka rin dun sa may team kang binibuild, during the days na mahina ang benta because there will be kahit top seller ka, may mga months mahina eh. No? During the days na mahina, during the years na mahina, if nakatingin ka sa big business, mag-build ka ng team, okay lang dun ka nakatingin. That allowed me to survive in this industry. First three years ko, hindi naman ako MDRT, hindi malaki kita ko. That's just fine. Because I started building and training, growing myself and training the people in me, with me here in this business. Right? So, please type in the chat box what's your biggest learning 
and take away the game. No, sabi ni Red, crunching the numbers, game plan. Laking bagay ng may structure. Ayun. Tama, di ba? Kasi nakikita mo. Again, para dun sa mga hindi narinig kanina, maybe late, nakapasok or nalaglag yung internet connection. The importance of having a game plan na i-excite ka. Pwede pala. Alam niyo yun? Yun yung realization ko eh. Pwede pala ako maging millionaire at age 30. Noong na-compute ko siya, hindi na-excite ako. Trabaho-trabaho lang ako. Tapos na yun, I figured out, kaya pala mas mabilis. Alam mo yun? Kasi, minsan ang laki ng vision mo, na-overwhelm ka, hindi mo alam paano gagawin. Lagyan mo ng game plan. Sabi ni Trisha, game plan, val- vehicle, value, multiplier tayo. Ang daming natutunan. Sabi ni Zaster, same with red, plus time management. Ayun. Sabi ni AJ, setting a game plan to achieve your goal. Ayan. Sabi ni Dayan, calendar and billable hours. Ayan. Thank you, Dayan, for being here. Nakaabot ka ng bandang dulo. Sabi ni Ivan, have clarity on what I want. Choose the right vehicle. Create the plan. Schedule the action steps. Build the team. Then enjoy the journey. Yes, important to enjoy the journey. Ha? Kasi if hindi mo na-enjoy yung journey, madali rin mag-give up. So guys, everything is important. Sabi nila, important my vision, but it can be overwhelming pag walang, if you don't enjoy the process. Pag walang game plan, parang binobola mo lang yung sarili mo. ba? Diba? So pag nag enjoy ka lang, walang vision, saan ka makakarating? Ganon. So everything is important. Game plan and calendar method makes you consistent. Value adding sa service and product and then time management sabi ni Kelvin. My final message will be this. You should have the entrepreneur mindset but employee discipline. I hope na i-transfer ko lahat ng nasa isip ko and ng mentality ko sa inyo today. You're the first batch of this crash course to entrepreneurship. I hope you can invite more people in the next run. Next year na yun, malamang. At, um, But you got to have employee discipline. Ano yung employee discipline? Wake up early. Kung ano man yung early sa inyo. Kasi alam ko yung mga millennials, mas gabi na mag-work. Okay lang yun. Work 8 hours, 6 to 8 hours, maybe 4 hours minimum, every single day. Kailangan every day. Hindi pwede walang, may okay lang may day, minsan, pero not weekly. Nagpapahinga ka, me time, etc. Pero dapat employee discipline. You log in, you, like clockwork, kaya nakakalendar, nakaschedule siya, gagawin mo yung trabaho mo. Kung ano yung goals mo for the week, tapusin mo siya. Kung meron ka hindi nagawa, okay lang, pat yourself in the back, schedule mo siya ulit next week. That's employee discipline. Kasi iti-check ka ng boss mo, di ba? Sabi mo, gagawin mo, tapusin mo. That's entrepreneur mindset, employee discipline. Pasahin ko na lang a few more takeaways. Sabi ni Diana, clarity in goals, having a game plan and action, building your value to share to the world and to monetize it, to have residual and passive income and have and to have a calendar for your life. Sige, habang binabasa ko yung ilan, mag-open na kayo ng cameras kasi mag-picture na tayo. No? So babasahin ko lang ibang mga sharing Ayan, para makapag-picture na tayo together. Sabi ni Tani, creating a schedule and commit. Price is irrelevant. Ayun, siya yung nagsabi, naalala niya yung price is irrelevant. Tama. Invest in yourself. Sabi ni Dennis, clarity of vision, systems and structure for business. So guys, even I manage time, most of the time really well. It's 12 o'clock, saktong-sakto. Kahit madaldal ako, on time po tayo. Alright, so let's all open our cameras. And let's do our number one post because we are number one. Sige. Um, meron ako rito. Sige, ako na magkukuha ng picture. Sige, so lahat na makakapag-open ng camera, please open your cameras. Let's have our picture taken, number one. Ayan. I'm just, I'm just waiting for a few more. Ayan, sige, si Jason na lang yung hindi naka-open. So, and ayan, sige, let's take a picture na. Habol sila kung kaya. Tingin sa camera. One, 
Two, ah, sige lang, Dayan. One, two, three. One more, one more, one more. Hindi nakaabot si, ano, sa number one si Richard. Richard, number one tayo. Hindi ata tayo naririg ni Richard. No? Sige, so go. Ha? Number one. <laughs> tingin sa camera, bro. Ayan, yan. Tingin sa camera. Ayan, yan. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, go. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Star Brights. Yan, mga tenured and our rookies and our incoming advisors. It's my pleasure to be with you here today. So, have a great lunch and a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, Paul.